So more times than not, you guys are seeing me at the shop or traveling to animal adventures, but uh, yeah, do you ever wonder like, what happens when I'm not doing animal stuff? So at least right now for this part of the vlog, I'm gonna take you on what happens when I leave BHB at night. And uh, the first thing I do every night, Monday through Friday anyway, is actually even on Saturday, is uh, I hit the gym. So, uh, uh, but I'm not gonna give you a, a meathead gym session here because I just think that would be something that only a tool would do. So I am on my way to the gym and uh, trust me, it's not like a, a Planet Fitness. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but uh, uh, it's definitely a gym that's pretty serious and um, we work hard and uh, it's no frills and stuff like that. One day maybe I'll show you guys inside the gym. I just kind of feel like a you know, doing that would make me seem like a, an idiot or something like that. You know, she'll look at me working out. But regardless, I'm hitting the gym. Life after BHB. It's kind of a bummer. I wanted to go down to VidCon, uh, but just wasn't going to do it this year. And then this meeting came up, and uh, you know, it just so happened that the dates worked out to where I'm literally flying in the day everyone else is flying out for VidCon. But that's okay. I don't know. You know, I mean, VidCon would have been a lot of fun. But uh, we're going to head to Playlist Live in uh, September in Washington D.C. Anyways, so anyways, just heading to the airport, uh, get on that five-hour flight to L.A. and. Uh, so we can do one thing that people don't know about me is that I hate flying and uh, a lot of people always are laughing at me because according Lori's always laughing at me <laughs> because she's like why do you care I, I fly probably more than anyone I know and every single time I fly I'm like a baby but uh so hopefully this flight will be okay but it's uh it's kind of you know thunderstorms outside and real windy so I have a feeling it's gonna suck the first little bit so wish me luck five-hour flight, a two-hour delay, half-hour taxi. So uh, it's essentially about one o'clock in the morning LA time, which means it's like four in the morning our time. So we're absolutely buckled. Uh, gonna get our luggage, our rental car, hit the hotel, get some sleep tomorrow. We have a day off, uh, which is awesome. So we're just gonna have a good time all day. Um, it's a rare day off for me in California. So we'll see what we can do and just have a good time. And then uh, the next day we have a kind of fun meeting and uh, a few other things. So it should be good, but now I need sleep. So we got up this morning after a few hours of sleep, headed down. We made our way to Santa Monica Pier and uh, Beach. This place looks pretty awesome. Check this out. It's pretty cool, huh? It's like uh, just kind of a wooden pier that has all kinds of cool stuff. And of course, the beach is over here. So we're just gonna uh, chill out, you know, see the sights and uh, try to enjoy the day a little bit and uh, see what adventures come our way.
take two with the mic. So yesterday was an awesome day. Me and Lori just had the day off. We went to the beach, we tooled around, we did some shopping, we just kind of enjoyed California. And what's interesting is that I've been out to California, I think 12 or 15 times in the last 12 months. I've literally done no touristy stuff. So it's been really cool to have a day off. But today is the day that we really came out here for, and that's for some uh, secret meetings, if you know what I mean. And uh, and basically what it is is, uh, uh, you know, projects come up and things come up and, and, and these companies typically want you to, you know, come out for some meetings. But uh, one of the things I try to tell people is that, you know, in all honesty, when it comes to either TV or other entertainment type of stuff, when you're in these meetings, a lot of times, uh, um, they're never a waste of time because you meet people, you get to know contacts, people, you know, you're in people's minds, so if something comes up in the future, but a lot of times, um, even though things sound really promising with a, a pot potential meeting, they don't amount to much often, so, but you gotta throw a bunch of stuff at the wall and hope for the best, and and, uh, and I'm excited, you know, it could be cool, and uh, it's gonna be neat to just kinda hang out and, and meet some new people, and who knows, maybe there'll be some cool projects coming up, uh, uh, I'm pretty excited about that, but in the meantime, me and Laura gonna go hit the gym and then we're gonna head down to Hollywood uh, to go check out the sites down in Hollywood for a couple hours and then heading over to Beverly Hills for these meetings uh, and then actually I'm pretty excited uh, going out to my buddy Jason Quinn's restaurant playground uh, in Santa Ana and I'm telling you this guy is amazing he has a show on MTV uh, he's been on the Food Network he has a great he has actually a handful of great restaurants so super excited about that so uh, it's gonna be a fun day guys <laughs> So today went well, everything went good at meetings, everything was awesome. Uh, we're now heading over to my buddy Jason Quinn's place, Playground Restaurant, uh, absolutely awesome. Of course, we're dealing with this LA traffic, of course. The only thing that I hate about LA, I love LA, but man, the traffic is tough. So, uh, but we're in for a good dinner. So uh, this hour and a half hike, that's only about, uh, 25 miles or so is going to be worth it for that good food so uh last night um in la we're out of here tomorrow but we do still have uh some time tomorrow so we're gonna go bum around a little bit we do have one more meeting in the morning as well so uh so yeah one more day in cali and then back to michigan So California's been really amazing. It's been absolutely great to us. Uh, the meetings went really well out here. We had some town downtime, you know, heading to the beach, just kind of chilling out, hit the tar pits. Um, just a really good time, but we're heading back to the airport now. And since this video um, was basically no animals, I'm gonna end the vlog uh, just seeing what happened when I was back at the shop. I know I got a shipment of snakes in today that I'm gonna set up tomorrow so we can take a look at that and uh, just kind of look at the shop a little bit before we end it but that'll be tomorrow when uh when i get back home so uh Lori, what did you think what was the best part of the trip probably his cookies <laughs> <laughs> Lori and her cookies so uh we'll see you guys back at the shop so guys i'm back at the shop uh actually to be totally honest with you they haven't slept yet since yesterday so we took the red eye back from uh from la and uh you know just got home and then came to the shop and uh i got this in check this out Bam! Those are all boxes of snakes. That's right. Uh, we hatch a lot of stuff, and uh, I was looking at babies. Even some geckos hatched uh, that I'll show you guys soon. But uh, um, but I also buy some stuff and, and get some stuff in trade. And this is a good friend of mine down in Atlanta that breeds some cool ball pythons. And the thing that's neat about him is that um, we usually just trade out a bunch of stuff, and, and he, <laughs> he literally just sends me packages of stuff. So I don't even know what's in these boxes. I know they're ball pythons, but... Uh, uh, um, so let's just take a look and see what we've got here. So let me just set this camera up over here. Uh, I'll set it over here so we can kind of take a look together. Uh, there we go. Let's see here. Uh, there we go. Get a good nice shot of that. You can see those boxes. And we'll take a look and see what we got here. Uh, pretty excited. Like I said, uh, it's kind of like Christmas, right? You know, you get these big... Usually he just sends me a couple little boxes. But today I get all these snakes. And again, I think he was uh, he was actually going to send me a handful of uh, 
uh, bigger snakes as well that he just wanted to kind of downsize in. So uh, we'll see what he has here. I have no idea if these are, are bigger ones or smaller ones, but uh, definitely some pretty ones here. Oh, this is actually cool. This is actually just a male. Here, you guys can take a look at that right there. This is a male pastel GHI. Um, and again, that's just something I can put into the breeding group. Uh, you know down the road or whatever so that's pretty cool like i said he was just weeding down some stuff because you know most people's collections you know everyone isn't as crazy as i am and and uh just keep on adding snakes you know most people have you know if they have a hundred slots they have a hundred slots so if they raise up animals they have to get rid of older animals to replace them right so um so let me just see if this is all yeah this is all bigger stuff here so we'll, we'll skip this i want to see if we can get into some babies because I know he sent some really cool babies. Uh, let's see here. What do we got in here? Oh yeah, here we go. Here's some some babies here. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Let's see here. I'll just go ahead and start opening these bags up a little bit. Now the hardest part about this is uh, to figure out how to open the bag because they're tied so darn tight. Again, it's almost like Christmas because you know you never know what uh what he's sending and and like I said, he hatches some really cool stuff. So um, okay, these look like some banana stuff here. Uh, really pretty though. Uh, wow, what the heck is that? Let's see, we've got a really light banana. Uh, let me see, get that in focus right there. It's like a really light. Maybe it's a super blast banana and then this just looks like a pinstripe banana here but it's really pretty um oh you know what this is this is actually a banana kingpin because yeah i see that there's lessers in here so this is actually a banana lesser pinstripe or what they would call a kingpin banana so that's a cute little bugger there look at how cool that is so that's pretty awesome what is this this is a okay so take a look at that right there that's actually, oh my gosh, that thing is so cool. Take a look at that right there. That thing is so incredible. That's actually a spider genetic stripe banana. So this is what they would call a motley bee. So this is a banana motley bee. And of course we have just some banana genetic stripes here. Look at, take a look at that. Oh my gosh, that's a great, and there's a whole bunch of them in here too. As a matter of fact, here's another little banana motley bee right here. Gosh, that is just so adorable. I mean, those are great animals. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take a while for me to get through all this stuff. Oh, look at this. This is the jewel right here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is a pastel highway ball python. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely adorable. And of course you've got some more just highways and ivories right here. So, oh my gosh guys, I'm gonna have my work cut out for me and uh, I don't wanna make this vlog an hour and a half long, so it's gonna take me a good hour and a half to go through this stuff, set it up and get it all ready to go. So, uh, but I'll make sure to do something snake bites wise uh, with this. So, um, so make sure you check out a video in the future. I'm gonna wrap this video up because we've been traveling like crazy. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it subscribe down below hit the likes comments all that other stuff remember we're gonna have daily vlogs coming in the next couple weeks so monday through friday you're gonna see me just with whatever's going on so hey until next time see you later